Hello, you are welcome. How to solve for x in this nice algebra problem? And from here, we can write this as 5 raised to power x equals to here we factor out 5. We have 5 into bracket x plus 3. From here, then what we have here, we can divide both sides by 5. So as we cancel this 5, and here 5 will. 5 cancel each other here then from what we have here the same thing as 5 raised to power 1 then applying the law of indices when we have a raised to power n over a raised to power n the same thing as a raised to power n minus n so here this becomes 5 raised to power x minus 1 now equals to x plus 3 and in the same way here we can write this side first and take this side here so we have x plus 3 now equals to 5 raised to power x minus 1 and from here we can make this side to be equals to 1 by dividing everything by what we have here which is 5 raised to power x minus 1 and also this side by 5 raised to power x minus 1 and here this everything cancel out we have 1 left here then what we have on this side we can write it as x plus 3 then multiply by 1 over 5 raised to power x minus 1 then equals to 1 here then what we have here from when we have 1 over a raised to power n which is a raised to power minus n then here this can be written as x plus 3 then multiply by 5 raised to power minus then into bracket x minus 1 equals to 1 and which also here minus and open this bracket and this will give us x plus 3 then multiply by 5 raised to power minus x plus 1 which is equals to 1 then from here apply the w number function like this when we have w into bracket a exponent a this same thing as a on w lambda function now what we have here we have exponent then the power and the coefficient are equal now first let's try to make this power to become like this power that this here we can multiply both sides here since x is having minus multiply both sides here by minus so we have minus 1 times x plus 3 now then multiply by 5 raised to power minus x plus 1 and also equals to minus then this become minus 1 then here this open this bracket we have minus x minus 3 then times 5 raised to power minus x plus 1 equals to minus 1 now here what we have is minus 3 and here is you know 1 and to get minus 3 here we need to add minus 4 and then it implies that for we to have plus minus 4 here we need to multiply both sides by 5 raised to the power minus 4 since when we have seen this we can add the power and this will be minus 4 here then that means multiply both sides by 5 raised to the power minus 4 then we have minus x minus 3 into bracket then times 5 raised to the power minus x plus 1 times 5 raised to the power minus 4 here equals to minus 1 times 5 raised to the power minus 4 here. That is, here we now have minus x minus 3, then times 5 raised to the power minus x. Here we have plus 1 minus 4 also become minus 3 then equal 
equals to here we have minus 5 raised to the power minus 4. Then here we are getting close to what we have here, but there is an exponent here. So as well to apply this function, and also that means we can write 5 again as exponent ln 5. That's the same thing as 5. So when we substitute this, and when we have exponent ln a, it will equal to a. So applying that, we have 5 now, the same thing as exponent ln 5. That is, here we have minus x minus 3, then times exponent ln 5, then multiply by what we have, which is minus x minus 3. Then now equals to minus 5 raised to the power minus 4. Then from here, since the whole of this power must be the same thing with the coefficient a, then we need to multiply also by ln 5 on both sides. So here we now have minus x minus 3 multiplied by ln 5. Then here we now write it as exponent minus x minus 3 then times ln 5 now equals to since we multiply by ln 5 here now we multiply by ln 5 here as well then we have minus 5 raised to the power minus 4 multiply by ln 5 that is from here we can now introduce the w function of both sides when we have w function of a exponent a the same thing as a so that means here we have w function of minus x minus 3 ln 5 exponent minus x minus 3 ln 5 now equals to also on this side w function of minus 5 raised to the power minus 4 ln 5 then what we have on the left hand side from here it will reduce to minus x minus 3 ln 5 which is now equals to here we still have w bracket minus 5 minus 4 ln 5 then close bracket from here we can also write 5 raised to the power minus 4 here as 5 raised to the power 1 times 5 raised to the power minus 5 because 1 minus 5 is minus 4 then that means here we have minus x minus 3 times ln 5 now equals to here we have w into bracket here we have minus then times 5 raised to the power 1 times 5 raised to the power minus 5 then times ln 5 then close bracket then from here we can substitute here 5 here we can write it the same thing as exponent ln 5 that is the same thing as 5 so what we have here when we replace this plus 5 with exponent ln 5 then we have minus x minus 3 then ln 5 now equals to here we have w into bracket minus 5 now then we have exponent ln 5 from here then which is raised to power minus 5 now then multiply by ln 5 close bracket then when we write it from here, this power since we multiply, then we multiply minus 5 and ln 5 here. Then we have minus x minus 3 ln 5. We now be equals to w into bracket here. It's now minus 5 ln 5. Then exponent. Also we have minus 5 ln 5 here then close bracket then this has followed from what we have when we have